Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 29th. Uh, this week, we are going to take a look at your general current energies in this first row. In your second row, we're going to look at any messages from your future self. In your last row here, we're going to take a look at any messages for your, from your guides or your ancestors this week. And also at the end, I'm going to pull three yes or no question cards. Uh, I will give you time to pause the video, of course, to answer or to think about your questions. Uh, also, Cancer, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this week. And uh, I'm going to take that one as well because it wanted to kind of come out there, so why not? I actually, I might need this, so we'll leave that right there. Cancer, but cancer. Let's see here. You start off the week with this solitude card. Uh, you may want to be spending some time alone. I, I, if I'm being honest with you, I feel like you're coming out of a period of solitude. I feel like you are leaving a period of time where you want to be alone. I, I mean, you have the Four of Wands here. Four of Wands is a card of freedom, celebration, and it is a card of uh, socializing, or it can be a card of community. Four of Wands, believe it or not, can also be a card of inheritances as well. Not inheritance, um, that's not the word I wanted. Although, I said it, you might be getting an inheritance if you are waiting for an inheritance, Cancer. But I do feel... That, uh, it, that, uh, what I meant is a reunion, a family reunion. So I feel for some of you, you could be reuniting with a person here. I, I really don't feel like it's love. I feel like there's new love coming in for you here. But I do feel some of you are reuniting with like some family members or some friends. It, it could be a good week. This could be one of those things where it's like maybe where they're lifting restrictions because of COVID or whatever. And so maybe you're having times where you can socialize or where you can go out and things like that. So uh, definitely a very good energy. But I feel like you're leaving this solitude energy behind. Yeah, I feel like you've gained a lot of wisdom over this time. I, I do think that's true. You know, I think that because we've been kind of stuck, you know, alone because of COVID and things like that. Some of us have been with people, but, you know, it's still kind of lonely. And I feel this has allowed you to do some deep soul searching and really gain some understanding about like what's important to you, what's not important to you, all that other stuff. You have the Four of Wands, Five of Pentacles, and the Fool here. I feel like you're hoping for happiness. And you have the happy, happy card right here, Cancer. So I feel like you will be very happy. But I feel like you're hoping for to have a celebration with the Four of Wands. Just like everybody else, I feel like you're ready to be set free with this energy as well. I do feel some sort of like kind of faded type situation happening for you. I don't know if that's the right word, Cancer. Four of Wands can represent 11-11. You know, it's like these two wands on either side. And so, but I do feel it's kind of like saying make a wish. I feel like you should make a wish at this time. And I feel that it'll probably make you very happy with a fool. I do feel for some of you, this reading is actually quite simple. If you were working on a project or thinking about starting something last year at the beginning of COVID, I feel it's almost like you're getting a second chance to start again. You know, it's like maybe you want to start a business right at the beginning, right? And then you couldn't. Or maybe you were hoping to get really going on a new job or something like that. It kind of looks like a second chance to me. Uh, the magician here as well, it's like there was a stumbling block, there was an issue or a challenge, ace of swords, COVID, and the magician just says you try again. So, um, you know, the magician is like a do-over. It's a new beginning. So I feel that for some of you, this is a new beginning that you are receiving. And it's like allowing you to start something again that you couldn't start in the first place. So that's what I'm getting there. Uh, let's clarify this here, Cancer. I do want to get more detail. You have the world getting out into the world and <laughs> being able to get out the Queen of Wands here and the Three Swords. I do get this weird energy that just popped into my head there, Cancer. I feel like you need to stand up for yourself or mm, there's like something that you have to stand up for here with the Queen of Wands and this Three of Swords. So I do feel some of you are kind of like needing to stand up for yourself or are needing to kind of be strong at this time. Queen of Wands is the card of needing to be bold, needing to be assertive, needing to stand up for yourself. So I do feel for some of you, this is saying you need to do that, especially in work or career. I would say like if you want a raise, I feel like you need to like demand it with this Queen of Wands energy because I feel like you will get it. I do feel like you're very attractive at this time as well. But again, Three of Swords, some of you could be healing from a heartbreak, I feel, with this energy. And you have these Seven of Pentacles here. You have the, uh, the Justice card here. 
and you have the King of Wands. Like I said, there's your divine counterpart. I feel like there's new love available to you here, Cancer. It could be a fire sign. You've been getting fire in your readings for a while now. So it could be a fire sign that's coming in for you in love. And it's kind of like, I feel like this justice card is trying to empower you here, Cancer. Sorry, these cards are probably too small <laughs> to see on this camera. But this is the justice card, Cancer. And I feel like it's saying that you need to like empower yourself and stand up for yourself, especially in love. I feel like you need to, like, it, this card is asking you to demand your value, to demand your worth, and I feel like you will be getting it with that Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, King of Wands, like a divine counterpart uh, reading here, Cancer. So I definitely like where this is going. For others, I feel, remember, it is weird that I said inheritance at the beginning of the reading. Some of you, this could be a legal matter here. There could be a legal victory involving an in inheritance. So I definitely like to see that. I feel like there's some sort of major change coming in for you, though. Seven of Pentacles twice. I'm just going to hold up this Seven of Pentacles because this one is too small, Cancer. Seven of Pentacles represents a change in direction. He's looking at these Pentacles that he has grown, and he's saying, maybe, maybe that's not enough, right? Maybe he doesn't want to grow these Pentacles. Maybe he wants to grow something else. So I feel for some of you, you're like thinking, do I change direction here? Do I experience something new in life? And I feel like that's what you're going to do. Uh, here is your message from your future self. You have the happy, happy card. I feel like your future self wants you to know that you are going to be very, very happy at this time and probably by the end of this week. It's almost like you're channeling happiness. You know, she has this like light that is coming down to the top of her head. It's almost like she's channeling something that's making her very happy or she could be taking an action that is going to make her happy as well. So I feel like there's a lot of happiness coming in for you here. Yeah, after a period of being orphaned, look at the change, you know? It's like she's sitting on something here, it looks dead and terrible to this happy, happy card. So I do feel for some of you, if you've been left out in the cold in a relationship, it's like there's an opportunity for you to change direction and to find your knight in shining armor with this knight of cups. You have the death card, the seven of pentacles, and the ace of swords here. I, I Honestly, this is a very good card here, Cancer, but I feel like this is your challenge, is the ace of swords. Needing to overcome some mountains. You know, there are still mountains on the ace of swords, and they represent obstacles. The ace of swords says you will easily be able to overcome obstacles in the future, but it does still say that there are still obstacles. You know, Ace of Swords is a really good card. It is a card of a victory, success, you know, good news, good things coming in for you. But it, and it does represent very easily being able to overcome obstacles. But again, the obstacles are still there. You know, the obstacles still exist. It kind of is a card that says that no matter what, there are always going to be things that we have to overcome. I feel like what you need to realize is that you can easily overcome these obstacles, right? It, you don't need to worry about the challenges, the difficulties that you're going through. I feel like the sun is coming up. You know, on the death card, the sun is coming up between the two pillars that are on the moon card. So I feel like your future self wants you to know that. Again, there is a lot of stuff that is going to make you very happy in the future. I feel like this is saying that your future self wants you to change. I feel like your future self wants you to just try new things with the seven of pentacles. That's the message I'm getting. It's like maybe you go for a walk every single day in one direction, go the other direction. I feel like maybe you always go to the same restaurant, go to a different restaurant. I feel like this card is like wanting you to mix things up. I feel maybe it's just trying to get you off the hamster wheel. I feel like it's trying to get you to uh, change your routine or to break up your routine as well. I feel like there is just like, I see this like whole beautiful world on the other side of breaking routine. And I really, I mean, it's quite simple. I feel like this row here is asking you to just break from routine, break from you know the everyday things that you do. And it could just start with something very small your cancer and I feel like your future self wants you to know you are going to be very happy three of cups celebration major celebration from doing this here the nine of wands yeah I would just open up to new things nine of wands like uh, you know you going to your first school dance and not wanting to dance with all the other kids because you're afraid that they're going to make fr uh, make fun of you you know or whatever but who cares everybody's dancing I feel like this card is saying go out and have a good time six of swords moving forward I feel like you're being guided by your guides here in your last row. I feel like your guides are pushing forward. This guy in the back of the Six of Swords, he represents a guide. He goes back and forth across the choppy waters. And I feel like you are being guided at this time here, Cancer, probably towards a lot more success. Let's clarify it again. Why not, right? 
So let's see here. You have the Hermit. Definitely you've gone through something difficult. The Hermit is about doing some soul, inner soul searching and kind of like trying to do some inner work. You have the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I do feel like it hurts. And the Ten of Cups. Your Ten of Cups is out there is what I feel like this is saying. I feel that you have been hurt, you know? I feel like the Five of Pentacles is saying that you don't want to experience the pain of, you know, a loss breaking up here. Five of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Three of Swords here as well. It's like you don't want to experience it again, but I feel like your future self wants you to know that your Ten of Cups exists. Your Ten of Cups is out there. Your happiness, your uh, true happiness exists. This is a card of the Ten of Cups is happy home, happy family. So I feel like you need to realize that that exists for you. Even if you don't want a family or if you don't want to get married, the Ten of Cups could be something else. You know, Ten of Cups is just fortune after difficulty. This could be saying that you have gone through something where you've tried to learn about maybe how to build a business or you've tried to get a certain job and it like didn't work out. I feel like this is saying, try again. You will be successful this time. Didn't I say that at the beginning of the reading? I was like, it's like a second chance reading. I really feel that's what this is. It's like a second chance reading. This reading is saying, try something again. You will have a new beginning on something that has probably hurt quite a bit. I always tell people with the hermit, it's like one of my favorite people of all time, Eric Thomas, he's the hip hop preacher. He says, at the end of pain is success, you know? So he, what he says is, what he means by that is like, if you have gone through something that was extremely painful, don't throw it away. Don't throw the experience away because you're like this close to being successful. And it's like, how, how many people stop themselves from having something truly great because they were hurt? Probably a lot of people. It's like, yeah. Things hurt, yes, love hurts, right? But we all get over it. And why would you stop if you, if, like, if you knew that the perfect thing existed? Nothing is perfect, but you know this is pretty damn close, Cancer. If you knew that something that is absolutely perfect for you existed, would you stop? Uh, the answer is probably not. So I would keep pushing forward here, and I would try again something. Uh, in, in your last row here, for any messages from your guides, you have the. Let spirit be your guide card, the hawk card. It says, let spirit be your guide. So, and we know this is happening because of the six of swords. Six of swords, it goes back and forth across choppy waters, like I said. So I feel like you are being guided at this time, and for sure, from the universe with this energy. Yeah, you have this otter spirit. You are never alone. You could be feeling lonely. Five of Pentacles twice. Definitely, there is a sense of loneliness here. I even, I think I said it at the beginning of the reading with the four of wands. You know, the four wands, the people are celebrating on the other side of the card. It's like you're on this side. So you could be feeling lonely, but I feel like you are never alone. Your guides are guiding you. You have the devil, the net of cups, and the new, uh, the magician here. Again, when I started the reading, I was just getting that this is like a, almost like a do-over, a second chance. I don't think it's someone coming in from the past. I feel like if it's love, for example, it's like you're getting a second chance at love true love, like a person, but it's probably going to be this Knight of Cups, a knight in shining armor coming in for you. I feel like the devil is saying that you have learned from a devil situation. Again, don't throw the experience away with that hermit card. I feel like you need to uh, keep pushing with this energy because it's like guiding you towards something uh, much better. Let's see. Four of Wands, but pushing you towards marriage. Could be a Capricorn coming in for some of you. You have the Nine of Cups, wish, dream come true. There's definitely a wish coming in for you here. Didn't I say that on Four of Wands? I said make a wish. Here you go, Nine of Cups. Make a wish. I feel like there's a wish, dream come true. Nine of Cups is your dreams. He, Nine of Cups is normally looking into that cup. He is dreaming of his future life. He is dreaming of something he wants. And like your, your future self wants you to know that whatever you're hoping to have, whatever you're dreaming of will make you very happy. And I feel like you will have it with this energy as well. And you have the Page of Swords. I feel like you need to be curious. I, I, I think something is going to make you curious here. Uh, cancer with that Page of Swords and the Magician. Sometimes I think we get into that mode where... where it's like we say, oh, I'm never going to allow love into my life again. And it's like then someone, you know, with a six pack comes along and we're just like, you know what? I think I can give it one more chance, right? That's what I'm getting here. I feel like someone comes along where it's like maybe they don't have a six pack cancer, but I feel like someone comes along where you're just like, eh, you know what? Actually, I think I can give this one chance, right? <laughs> so I feel like something, something catches your eye here, cancer. And that's probably what's going to pull you out of this and push you towards this new beginning. Definitely a lot of happiness coming in for you here in all areas of your life. Again, I would just like, I just did the Pisces reading. And this reading here is just as crazy. 
and, as their reading. And also, I feel like this reading is not talking about anything, but I feel like it's also talking about everything in your life all at the same time. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, definitely an offer coming in for you here, probably in love for most of you. Three of Wands, yep, there's something coming in for you here. So you've been waiting. And the Eight of Pentacles, a lot of success coming in for you. Eight of Pentacles is material success on the horizon. But I also feel that the Eight of Pentacles says that you have done a lot of work on yourself. Eight of Pentacles is apprenticeship, just like the Hermit. The Hermit says you have climbed to the top of a mountain. You are now shining your inner light. It basically says you have done all this work. I feel like the Eight of Pentacles, like I said earlier, at the end of Pain of Success, this, this whole reading is saying don't throw away what the Hermit experienced. Don't throw away your dark night of the soul, right? It's like, yeah, you went through something challenging, whatever this is over here, Three of Swords, and, but it's like, don't throw that away. Um, don't stay stuck in this Eight of Swords energy is why I feel like that Eight of Swords kind of wanted to come out. Uh, crazy reading here, Cancer, but I love it. So I feel like you're going to be very happy. Love it. Uh, we're gonna, gonna uh, do three yes or no question cards now. We're gonna do one, two, and three. So feel free to uh, pause this video if you need time. One, two, and three, and uh, think about your questions. For question number one, I would say yes, definitely. Two of Cups, this is your true love if you're asking about love. For others, I feel that there is true love coming in, but I would say yes on question number one. For question number two, I would say yes, King of Wands. I feel like you need to be creative. Whatever you're asking about, I feel like there's a creative solution. And I also feel like you need to Queen of Wands right here. I feel like you need to be more bold, more assertive, and really go for what you're asking about. I feel like you need to be more aggressive. For question number three, I would say no, Five of Wands here. I feel like this is saying you've graduated the Five of Wands. So it's almost like whatever you're asking about, I feel like you have grown up past whatever your question is, if that makes sense. That's what's popping into my head. So I have, you know, I have to say it, <laughs> Cancer, even if it doesn't make sense. And uh, I feel like you have grown up past something with the Five of Wands. It's almost like you have matured past something. So I, I would just, I feel like saying no on question number three. But uh, that's that very interesting reading here, Cancer. I feel like it's going in a good direction, so I love that. But thank you for watching, Cancer. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support. But thank you, Cancer, and definitely enjoy your week.